Yes, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will be unboxing three hundred and fifty dollars worth of Mesco figures. So I've been trying to get into the line. Um, the only Mesco I have unboxed on the channel is the Henry Cavill Superman. Um, other than that, I haven't really um, bought any Mescos. Mescos are on the pricier side. Um, so that's why it took me a while. And plus, I've uh, highly, like, I've been diving into other series as well. Like McFarlane toys. A lot of McFarlane toys you see on this channel. Funko Pops, Marvel Legends. So, um, Storm Collectibles. Um, so I've been holding off on, on, on Mexico for a little bit. But then I was like, you know what? Let me just knock all the Mexico figures out. And, um. So how I want to do it is I'm going to go down the DC way first and then go into the, like the Marvel and then whatever's left as well as, you know, it's going to take time for me to completely get all the figures, especially like older figures as well. And I went on eBay and I went to go look around for some older figures. One that are not like Black Mask is going to be super hard to find and super hard to get because he is on the pricier side as well. Um, he, I believe he was a two pack and, and, uh, I believe it was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Don't, um, quote me on that. And, um, just like the reverse flash and the flash, which are easier to get where are cheaper. Um, I did see one on there, so I would definitely be picking those up as well, as well as, um, I was in talks and getting the Punisher, um, which is not DC, but I was I was in talks of, of this guy with getting the Punisher, the original Punisher, not the Jonathan Berthold Punisher from the TV show on Netflix. Um, I was trying, to, I was in talks of getting him, but he was kind of fishy. He was uh, first he told me he didn't speak English, and then I asked him. Uh, he said he didn't speak English well, and then I asked him a question, another question, and then he writes out a whole full sentence. So I don't know, I don't know where he just learned English, but uh, <laughs> so I didn't purchase that. You know, I requested to have the item canceled because I was like, I'm not gonna take risk. Um, he did have a negative comment. I mean, he did have a, ne a negative review of somebody saying that they never received the item. So I didn't want to take that chance, you know, even though it was an older review, um, I didn't want to take that chance of taking any risk of me not receiving my item. So I decided to skip on it entirely, but I will be trying to track down some of these older Mesco figures, but let's get on to the video. Okay, so when you unbox this, this is what you see. You see inside of it, it's kind of hard to show out the glare. Um, but he he got to like his cool 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 weapons with like like a, a um harpoon chain looking type of thing as well as a normal head sculpt and there is one but kind of looks flipped over so I will be when I take him apart I will be showing off piece and layer by layer so there is that okay guys so two things I noticed right off the bat so with the cape it's kind of like a, a a real 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 soft like um like rubbery uh, leather if that makes any sense i really don't know how to describe it. it's like a rubbery cloth type material so i don't know how to uh i don't know how that's gonna hold up um you know like longevity wise as well as so how they did it was on the top it's really preventing his hood to stay down this comes off because like i said earlier he has another um cloth or another hood to to put on top of it if you don't want that which kind of looks like side by side comparison it looks like a little bit smaller if you guys want it like that um but yeah so like i said but everything else looks pretty good uh i do love like the the material they used right here you know it's kind of like they took out little bits and pieces going all around his leg as well as his face which just looks um almost incredible so when i take this out that's how he looks without the hood 
it actually looks pretty good if you ask me so it also comes with this face cup on it which i will not be using so it kind of looks him kind of looking all beat up so if you were to put it on him that's how he would look um it's kind of like he took the hood took the hood off and just showed his face which looks okay if you ask me it looks pretty good but i'm just not gonna just use that um so now I'm just going to put all the other accessories to put go on them. Okay guys, so that's how I am disposing my uh, Moon Knight. Uh, he also comes with this other like chain. It's kind of like nut chucks. Um, that looks pretty cool as well as this big long spear. Uh, which I will, I, I can use these for other figures. So that's one thing I love about Mezco. As well as kind of like this Moon type battering type thingy which i do do like so i will be messing around with with these other figures as well he also comes with other grippable hands i do like this one as well it's kind of like he can grip something as well as kind of like the uh, spikes coming out of his fist and then here's the closed fist that comes with it as well so overall, overall, that's really, really cool figure. So he also comes with some other accessories as well. So it's kind of like, I don't know what, what these are, but um, I guess it's to levitate his cape. So I'm not really going to show that off because to me, it's really, really pointless to show that off. But that was all the accessories he comes with. So this is kind of like the final display. I'm going to use my uh, Moon Knight as well as, and then here's the stand that he is standing on so um pretty cool so here's like a whole full shot of my uh, moon knight and how i'm going to be displaying him so overall so when i finally take some pictures i'm really going to levitate him to show him off full view in, in camera as you guys know if you guys want to see better shots of any of the figures i'm going to show down below or show later on it's going to be the in my instagram so I could take better shots of these figures. So we're gonna be on to the next figure. Now we're gonna be unboxing the Aquaman. So I will be trying to get um, the Jason Momoa Aquaman as well. So I will be trying to get that one. Uh, I could have bought it. I just don't know why I skipped it. Maybe because I wanted to see how this one will come out. So here's the whole box itself um this is more of the classic suit aquaman this is the aquaman i'd grown up knowing you know playing the video games as well as watching the older tv shows here is the whole box itself Mesco has definitely improved over the years, so I can definitely tell, like, if you bought, like, older Mesco figures, just how they package things now, and the items they include now is completely different. So here is, I think Mesco has one of the best, best stands in the game. So here's just the stand. Um... They do definitely have one of the best best stands in the game, um, if you ask me. Because they hold up the figures pretty well, they, no matter how much weight they have. Um, and I, pretty, I pr really, really, really appreciate that because I like to levitate my figures. And it's hard to do that if they can't hold up their weight. So here is the, the classic... Apple man, so I will be showing that off first. Uh, just right away, you can tell this is just classic suit Aquaman. So he looks pretty good as well. I have a habit of well, as when I'm showing off the, my figures, any figure that I have, um, without switching my camera angle, um. I have a habit of pulling back the figure too fast. So if I'm showing off a figure, I got a habit of just pulling back. So I got to stop doing that. The belt looks like it's coming off. So I'm trying to 
close the belt. So here it is. See what I'm talking about? Like the belt doesn't look like it's closed all the way. So I'm gonna have to mess with those. But I love I love it already. I love the orange. Um I don't know what you call this. Kind of like leathers with like miniature scales on it. It looks pretty cool. As well as like the gauntlets. Like uh it look they look pretty sick. You could just tell this is classic. Aquaman just looking pretty cool. There's not really much um his his whole costume is not really much about it. Um you know you got the it's just orange and green. There's not really much about it. There's no like logos besides the belt, which the belt look like it is broken. I'm not sure what what it is, but I'm gonna have to mess with it. So I'm gonna take all the pieces out and then we'll be right back. What do you want, Arthur? You will address me as royalty. You have to earn my respect. Begin. So this is how he turned out to be. He looks actually pretty cool. So I was looking at the belt, and the belt looks like it's been broken off. Um, I don't know if it broke off like during transit or something, but I tried to snap it back on, and it doesn't snap back back on. So I might have to end up super gluing it, which is unfortunate, especially since I re I really want to be careful. Uh, and not damage the figure but there's no so i'm gonna have to be really really tight when i put the super glue on the belt and um because i just don't want the glue to get on the figure itself you know his his clothing but he like i use that like screaming face he also has this the normal face that he comes with as well as this other face which is actually a pretty good face as well so overall i like the screamy face because it looks like he's in mid battle so um the thing about the shoulder pad is that it's hard to get it to stay in one place as well um i really love the trident the trident looks absolutely amazing so i cannot wait to have him face off hopefully in the future i know these toy companies don't like to do villains but man i would love love some villains hopefully like a future like black manta in the future maybe but overall this is all he he also comes with other hands but i'm not going to show the other hands uh this is about all that he comes with so overall pretty pretty cool figure i love it uh and now on to the next one okay so now here is the green lantern john stewart so here's another one that i really really like um John Stewart is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite Green Lanterns. Um, I just, just love him. Uh, he looks pretty, pretty badass too. I love the accessories that come with it. And here's the inside of it. So now we're gonna open it up. I just love these mescos, man. These mescos are real, real detailed. I would like for them to be like a little bit bigger, but I definitely, definitely understand. It's kind of hard to put them in scale with other uh, figures, but here's the inside of it as well. And as well as the back. So it kind of looks like he's coming with a stand. So like I said, we're gonna go layer by layer. So 
So it looks like it like it comes with like a blast as well as the stand as well as the pop the, the green lantern ring. So that's pretty awesome. Definitely gotta be careful so I don't lose that. So now we're gonna take everything apart. So these are the accessories I decided to go with. He so uh, I use that head scarf. He comes with two. So here's the original one that comes with it. You know, it's just him closed mouth. I'm not gonna use that one, so I prefer to use this one. That looks pretty cool. It comes with the uh, uh, with this big gigantic. Looks like a blast or whatever. I don't know what you call that specifically, but it looks awesome. Uh, I definitely. I guess it's called an energy ball. <laughs> and then there's the lantern. So it's you know. For me, you can't pose a Green Lantern figure without the lantern. Um, he also comes with other other cool accessories to come with it. So here is kind of like this ring. Um, it's called a star, smoking star or whatever. I don't know what you call this, but it looks pretty cool. It's a grippable hand. Um, I would not, I mean, it's cool to use that every once in a while to s switch up your display as well as a cool little blast. So it looks like you could probably this cool little blast comes in, in another exchangeable hand um, with another ball blast or whatever. So if you want to get like another little stand or whatever to make it show off like you're doing this badass explosion out of your hand as well as another look like a small little blast you could put and it's another inexchangeable hand um and i love how each and every piece comes with like these small like little like rings out of their hands that looks pretty cool as well so when i first i kind of misspoken earlier so this is kind of like this other chest piece you could put on them but overall he looks absolutely amazing like when i look at green lantern or john stewart whoever any green lantern this is the costume that i kind of uh, like the costume I, I think of when i think of green lantern you know this feels really really smooth and i love the cloth that they use with mezco mezco has to me one of the best cloths as well it's kind of like cloth like the body's cloth and then up here is kind of like a hard plastic and i'm doing a horrible job of explaining it but i just love how mezco figures just come on how they look um i kind of wish the lantern would light up that would be pretty pretty cool if it did um but overall here is john stewart green lantern and yes i do got a cool clip so here check out this clip as well In this now, Superman. You can't stop me. And I'll build you a better cell. Begin. You can't win this. I'll damn sure try. guys so real quick i found out that the lantern does light up because it actually comes with some batteries but the problem is i don't have the right tools to um take out the screw that's at the bottom um so i'm gonna have to go to the store the screwdriver i have unfortunately might be just a little little too big or it's probably too, i don't know what it is but it don't don't fit in it even though it's a real small one um it actually doesn't fit at all so unfortunately i won't be able to uh to t to show that off in this video but probably one of my next videos i'll show that off but we're gonna get right into the new well not the new because none of these mescals are new but the last the final one green lantern hal jordan 
Um, from the looks of the, the back of the tin, it looks like Hal comes with the same accessories. Um, yeah, so it looks like Hal comes with the same accessories on the back. Uh, everything is pretty much the same, so which is definitely understandable. It's just Hal and John Stewart. They're both Green Lanterns, so of course they're gonna have like the same accessories to go with them. The only difference is, is that one's a, uh, one's, uh, one's white and one's black. <laughs> but like I said, when you open up the tin can, this is what you see inside. Um, almost the same thing. I'm not sure in the last video, but I did show, I don't know if I showed off the stand, but here is the stand. It's the logo of the Lantern. Um, like I said, same accessories, same everything. So, um, everything's pretty much the same. So what I'm gonna do, instead of showing off each and every piece, I am going to just show off the whole figure. because that's the only difference is the figure. So here, how he looks. Here is the Hal Jordan Green Lantern. Same suit, same look and everything. The only difference, like I said, is, is that this is the Hal Jordan and that's the John Stewart. And here is the head, the other head sculpt, which is probably the one I will be using. It's just him screaming. Um, so I will be using that one But with this one, I will probably use different effects So instead of the big gigantic blast I would probably using this key blast hand. So I'm gonna put everything together. So Fully charged <laughs> Once a Green Lantern, always a Green Lantern. Okay guys, so this is how I'm choosing to use my Hal Jordan. Overall, he looks crazy. I just, Green Lantern is one of my favorite, favorite figures. I love the comics as well. Um, he's dope. I mean, if you guys don't know anything about Green Lantern, he can make pretty much anything out of his Green Lantern, whichever he some to choose so um just the power of the ring just helps him it's kind of like lord of the rings but jokingly all jokes aside is not really um overall like i said pretty pretty dope so i got a habit of you know i got i got pretty big hands and um i got a habit of accidentally like um forcefully pushing these figures in too hard so i kind of broke this piece off by mistake um but luckily the piece that i broke in you could just plug right back in so it's not really gonna do anything to these uh to that figure but like i said that was the the things i decided to go with i hope you that's all that's pretty much all i got for this video so you guys that is all i got for you guys today hope you guys enjoy these videos like i said i got more of these to come in the future but always stay tuned because you never know what i'm gonna upload next if you guys like this type of content please consider hitting that like button as well as the subscribe button as it helps the channel out tremendously and i am truly truly appreciative of anybody who likes to comment or leave the like button either one i i highly appreciate each and every single one of you guys but you guys have a wonderful amazing day see you guys Thank you.